Hey everybody, Stu AG6AG, listen, is your computer starting to really slow down and you're starting to think that there might be a problem with the hard disk? You want to go back to the old school way of checking it or just checking it, period? This video is for you. Well, hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today we're going to take a look at Check Disk. Um, for those that have been playing with computers for a really long time, you know exactly what Check Disk is. Uh, you're probably pining for the fields when you hear the name Check Disk because, God, it was an amazing tool. And when you were working with that kind of stuff with disk back in the old days at DOS, it was indispensable. Windows gave us access to it through a GUI, and if you were really sharp, you could get to it through a command prompt. But as the Windows versions progressed, it got harder and harder to find, and harder and harder to set up and use. Well, today I'm going to try to show you how to get to it, how to check your disk, and how to make a decision on whether all the slowdowns and the problems that you might be having with your PC are due to a premature disk failure. So with that, oh! That reminds me, please, don't forget to subscribe. If you like my videos, you'll be notified if you click on the little notification icon when I come out with new ones. And you know what? If you like the video, click on like. Oh, and I can't, I can't not remind you that, uh, hey, if you have any questions or anything about my videos, please make them in the comments down below. So with that, on with the show. Hey everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today we're going to take a look at running disk repairs in Windows 10 and 11. Now our sample system is a Windows 10 system and we're going to go ahead and show how you get to force a full disk check. Okay, you need to get in the command prompt here and a few other little things. So, uh, you know, stay in there and we'll get through this together. So let's go ahead and get started here. I am going to go ahead and launch a command prompt. Now, the way that I get to the command prompt, I typically will just right hand mouse click the little start icon down here in the bottom. And I'll go down to command prompt where it says command prompt admin. Now that could on your system, if you haven't modified it, that could say PowerShell. Doesn't matter. You can run this inside the PowerShell as well. Uh, but I prefer to use a command prompt just because I'm old school. All right. Now, of course, it's going to ask me, hey, you're running this at the, as the administrator. Are you sure? And I'm going to say yes. Now, back in the day, check disk was very common to use in an MS-DOS system. All right. Now that we're in Windows, as Windows has progressed through all these different iterations, um, it takes more and more control away from you inside the GUI or the Graphic User Interface GUI. So um, what you need to look at here is in the command prompt, I can type in chkdsk, which is check disk, I can do a forward slash question mark and I can decide exactly what I want to do with check disk. So a couple key things here. I recommend that you look through all of this. If you've never ran check disk before, this is a tool that will affect your hard drive. Okay. I always recommend that people take full backups before they do this. In my case, I have a full backup of this system, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, basically, it's check disk, volume path, or file name, and all the different switches here. And all the switches are listed down here. Um, I'm going to shortcut this a little so we don't waste the time talking about every switch. I'm going to want to do a slash V because this is an NTFS file system and I want to see the cleanup messages, if any. Uh, I'm going to tell it to do a slash R, which means I want to locate bad sectors and recover readable information. Okay, this implies a slash F, which just means automatically fix the errors. Okay, um, also I'm going to do a slash X, which forces the volume to dismount. Now, why am I doing this? Well, because 
I'm going to be doing this on the operating system drive, and I make sure I want to make sure that uh, the system is completely exited out before I run this. And what that means is it's going to make me reboot the system before I run it, and that's what I want. Um, let's see the rest of this kind of self-explanatory stuff. Uh, I don't typically mess with it. Uh, I don't need spot fix or garbage collection or all that good stuff. Although I could do NTFS garbage collect unneeded security deceptors. It implies slash F. Um, I don't think I need to add that. Anyway, with that, let's go ahead. CHKDSK. This is my C drive. I want to do a forward slash R, a forward slash X, and a forward slash V. Now, when I hit enter here, it's going to turn around and say, hey, I can't run because I'm mounted. Do you want me to run on my next reboot? I'm going to answer yes or Y. And there we go. And now, all that's left to do is to reboot the system. So, let's go to our power and restart. Gives me the option right here. I can skip the check if I really want to. I'm not going to. There it goes. It's starting out. It's giving me ETAs, what stage it is. This is going to take a long time, uh, probably a half an hour or so. So I'm going to disappear for right now and just let it run and come back to it if we see anything interesting. How's that sound? So with that, let me step away and uh, we'll fast forward through most of this so you don't have to sit through the whole show. Well, okay, we're back in. No problems at all there. Everything looked good. If there hadn't been a problem, it would have repaired it, we hope. Uh, but what happens if it's unrepairable? And I think that becomes the big question for most of us here. Um... Well, you have a few different options. And, you know, this is where you have to decide how far down the rabbit hole you want to go. Okay? Um, a professional can diagnose your system rather quickly, tell you what's going on, might even be able to rescue your data if you have a failed hard drive. Um you could do the same thing. There are lots of tools that are available in the open source community that would allow you to do this. So, um, your call. Anyway, back to your options. Okay, let's say that you can't boot the computer. All right, well, what's the best thing to do at that point? A couple different things you can do. Um, you can take your hard drive out, hook it up to a USB adapter, plug it into another computer, and execute a um, check disk on it. If the hard drive's even recognized by the other computer, and there's the key. If the hard drive's not recognized by the other computer, you're going to get into stuff like the system rescue CD and stuff like that. Um, and sometimes, hey, the drive has just failed and the party's over. But this check disk will give you a general idea of what's going on. If you have some funny stuff where, oh, I don't know, things are taking a long time to start or something like that, it wouldn't be a bad idea to run this full scan. And if there are any errors or anything else, okay, you're going to know about it and you'll make the decision at that time if they're block errors, I'd recommend imaging the drive over to another drive, resizing it, whatever you need to do, and getting it installed in your system. That all said, it's up to you. If you want to go down the road, it can be a rabbit hole. And uh, I encourage you, if you're oh, a hobbyist and have played with PCs for a long period of time, great. If you consider yourself an end user and you don't feel comfortable taking stuff apart, I probably would recommend you take it to a pro. Anyway, with that, this is Stu, AG6AG. Off to the close. Well, pretty simple, huh? You know, a lot of times the simplest things are the best. So, hey, I talked a little bit about uh, the ability to copy over disks and stuff like that. I do have some stuff on that, and uh, I'll... Uh, 
leave the links in the comments down below to those videos. Uh, and, uh, you know, I may even make another one that might be an updated one on what we're talking about here. All right. Anyway, hey, thanks for joining me on this one. And uh, hey, if you like the video, click on like. Don't forget to subscribe. All that good stuff. With that, I'm Stu, AG6AG73, everybody. And I hope to hear you out there on the air.